Okay, let's talk about setting up public folders in Exchange Server 2010. To do that, I've got the management Exchange Management Console open. You can see here I just started it up right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Organizational Configuration over here to, let's say, Mailbox. Okay, and you can see that in the Mailbox setting under Organizational Configuration, under this hierarchy, I can go in and you can see here that it says new public folder database. So by default there's no public folder to start with um, in 2010 it looks like. So I'll just click on this new public folder database and let's see if we can get a public folder going. Alright and I'll call it DG public folder for Dan's games. Okay all right and then I'll browse for the server this is my server right here and I'll hit next and I'll I'll accept the default path and now all I need to do is create new and it's creating and setting up the public folder for me and hopefully we'll get a completed check mark All right, and it's done. So I'll click Finish, and you can see now there is a public folder here. And if I select it over here, this says DG Public Folder for Dan's Games. All right, fantastic. If I right-click on it, I can dismount it or move the path or go to Properties. And I have some basic um, folder properties that I can do. I can manage maintenance schedule, replication, I can set some um, limits on it, and that's it, just basic. So now let's take a look to see if that shows up in our mail. So I've got a webmail um, account logged in here um, to my mail server. So I'm logged in with an administrative account. You can see it's called admin here, and I'll just refresh and see if the public folder shows up. Chances are it's not. I'm going to probably need to log out and log back in. So let's see here. All right, let's do that. So we'll we'll sign out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in to an account, an administrative account on my mail server and we'll see if it shows up. If the public shoulder folder shows up. All right. And you can see now that there is a public folder down here and I can select it and we don't really have anything in it but since I am signed as an administrator I probably can create a folder right here. Now let's see here I can create a um, calendar folder, a contact folder, a task folder, a notes folder. I'll say current project and hit enter and now I've got a notes folder inside of my public folders called current project. Alright, now um, you have to have an administrative um, rights or privileges to be able to create uh, a, fol a folder inside the public folders by default and since I am logged in as an administrative user I was able to do that beyond creating a public folder with an administrator account through the webmail through the OWA Outlook web application there's limited things you can do it seems from the webmail so for instance if I right click on this there's no properties for the folder and over here there's no properties for the folder so there's not much I can do actually from the webmail account so I'm gonna um, look, go back here into my exchange server Okay, so I made a um, notes folder in my public folder called Current Project. And now let's go back to our Exchange server to see how we can manipulate some stuff through the Exchange server and have more access to things. And the way to manage the public folders in the Exchange Management Console is through the uh, toolbox. So I can go to the toolbox and there is a folder called public folder management console and we can click on that and that will open up 
a special tool that will allow us to look at our public folders. So you can see right here that I've got the public folder management console open now. And if I go inside of the default public folders, you can see there's my current project folder that I just set. All right, so inside of public folder management console, we've got the current public folder. Let's see if we can select this public folder and create, let's create a new one uh, right from this ex public folder management console. So I'll click new public folder. And we're given a wizard here. And I can say, um, we'll call this, um, we'll call it team one, right? Or we can say development. We'll call it development, all right? And we'll hit new and finished. And so now we have another public folder here called development, all right? And if we wanted to mail enable a public folder we could do it here too so let's see here so if we mail enable this then anything any projects that we're working on um, mail enable and now the development folder has been mail enabled oh, that was pretty easy Okay, so we created a new public folder called development, and then we clicked on mail enable to mail enable it. So now people, let's say on a development team for dansgames.com, could send email to this public folder as a, uh, as a way of sharing information, let's say, between developers. Let's right click on the development folder and go to properties, and we'll take a look at it, right? So you can see when we go to the properties, we can see um, email addresses that the email address you'd want to send it to is development at dansgames.com right and you can see like what member it is replication so we've got ac ac exchange um, general information the alias for it all kinds of information from this right there so that's pretty handy and it'll all be done through the public folder management console which we accessed through the toolbox. So current project here um, is a notes folder, right? So I'm going to go to current project and I'm going to right click and go to properties and see what we have here as well. Current project, um, statistics, replication, um, we can also set limits, uh, use database quota defaults, database retention defaults and age limits. Okay, so let's uncheck the storage quota and we'll say issue a warning at 100,000 KB, which would be 100 megabytes. Or we could say 200,000 200, KB. Uh, we'll issue a warning will prohibit posts past 220,000 maximum item size per item will say 10,000 all right so that's just um, this is in kilobits so 10,000 so maximum item size would be 10 megabytes the uh, prohibit post past 220 megabytes and issue a warning at 200 megabytes. Um, that's just, I'm just picking some limits randomly here just to try it out. Okay. So now we have a couple of public folders. 